Welcome back everybody again to a brand new episode of Pine Outdoors. Thank you so much for stopping by to check the channel out. Today's video we're going to explore how you can bag crappie baits. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to make us a little stippy stoppy here at the Home Depot. Here in my store I go to aisle 14. If you just get you a piece of this 6 by 18 inch aluminum sheet metal. 0.025 inch thickness this will hold up good you can make one cut maybe two if you want to make it a little bit more shallow now here at walmart if you make your way over to the knife section this is where you're going to find the cutting mats this is going to be option number two here for 4.97 these are the flexible cut mats that they have there's four pieces in each one um, so this one's going to be a lot more cost efficient okay with the tag we're out for five dollars and 41 cents so i get these bags from clearbags.com uh, this is what i use for my crappie base it's hz b73 um, it's seven inches by three inches inner diameter uh, this is their phone number that's their website it depends on how many of these you buy you know if you only buy a hundred well they're not going to give you a price cut but if you buy twenty thousand there's a pretty substantial price cut so now that we've got our sticker on we've got our bag this is one way to approach the situation just shotgun blast it hit it with the worm oil give it a little seal right there give it a good little shake and then put it into the put it into the impulse sealer and there it's sealed up it's ready to go you need to lay your baits out here just lay them side by side you need to figure out how many you're putting in a bag and then take that measurement in this case i'm doing 20 per bag so if i go ahead and go on over here and measure i'm gonna say i'm gonna go with five and a half because i want to have a little bit of clearance on each side but not so much that i put too many baits on there Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our tape here. I'm going to measure five and a half inches. There's my mark. If you ain't got a speed square, you can put a mark here, put a mark here, take a something that's got a straight edge and connect the two so that way you can make your cut right. In this case, I've got a speed square, so I'm just going to get right there on my mark and we're good to go. I've got a pair of these Milwaukee scissors that they got up at, at the Home Depot. Now that we've got our cuts made, now we just need to deburr this and get all this nasty stuff off the edges and kind of round our edges off just a little bit here. Make this as technical or as simple as you want. It really don't matter if you've got a power sander. You could use a random orbital sander to go ahead and do it. In this case, I've got some emery cloth. So I'm just going to go up around these edges and knock these burrs off and I'll show you the next step. Now here on these edges, you want to make sure to round these off pretty good because you don't want to wind up hurting yourself. If you have anybody out here bagging, you don't want to injure them. So just lay it down on something flat, your sandpaper, and start knocking that edge down. And once you've got it knocked down there a little bit, then you can go ahead and you can buff it out a little bit better try not to get too far over here on this because you want this to be slick and smooth so there's a rounded edge there's a pointy edge okay now that we've got that all sorted out i just take a little bit of my worm oil i buy it by the five gallon bucket so i got tons of it laying around we're gonna just polish it up clean it a little bit get all that nasty junk off there all right over time this sharpie mark is definitely gonna come off of there good little tip is gonna be to take you something that you can imprint in this metal with make you a little scratch in it maybe put your arrow here that's what i'm doing in this situation uh, it'll make training a lot easier too if you got somebody out here then you can just say hey Make sure that you always have the plate in this orientation. Something as simple as that up there on the upper right hand corner is going to give somebody the information that they need to know that, hey, this goes up all the time. The reason why that's important is you keep this side lubed and it keeps your fingers dry and you don't get your packages all nasty. Right now I'm going to go ahead and cheat since I've already got this shape and size and all the dimensions. I'm going to mark this out and cut it out of our cutting board too. Now this one works out pretty good because it's going to keep this rounded edge down. You could always just remember, hey, this rounded edge needs to be down or it could be up, whichever way you want it to be. All right, let's take it one step further with an extreme budget option. 
definitely not a long-term solution. We'll go ahead and cut this out. And this would be more of a disposable option, but it should work nonetheless. All right, right here, what you're gonna wanna do is put your little lube on there. Spread it out. I used to use a little paintbrush, a little small, like one inch brush. And then we're gonna start, we're gonna take our baits, we're gonna start laying them out one at a time. So there's one. Best way to do this is gonna be sitting down. I take my bag, I open it up real wide, just like that. And you can see I've got it scooped open. It's wide open, just like that. Take your plate, slip it in over here. Slide it all the way to the bottom, okay? Now this is where the magic happens, right here. You're gonna push down, just like that. Slide your plate out. And just like that, you've got a bunch of really straight, beautifully packaged baits, man. So that that's really the nice way to package them, and I will package them that way if people have special requests, people that are like tournament guys and whatever that, you know, need to make sure that they can just buy it, have it, and they know it's going to be straight. And I take it over here and put it in the impulse sealer, get it lined up, give it a couple quick seconds. There, I went a little bit high. Uh, I'll go a little bit more just like that and now it's sealed up until somebody's ready to buy it these are actually reject baits but I'm just doing this for an example to show you pop your bag open we're gonna take our cutting board that we have here take it we're gonna slide it in all the way down, smash it, pull it. Same story, same channel, same network. 20 on deck. Make sure our bag's open. Give it a little twist there. what I'm talking about whenever the plate is a little bit too fat it's gonna be a little trickier but it can be done nonetheless a lot easier to guide one of them down in there you have to do all of them so you see I've slid it down in there just like that I lost two but that's no problem we're gonna smash it That's going to be the drawback to the cardboard is you're not going to be able to smash it and let it all slip off. It's going to give you some troubles like that, but if you take your finger, you can help get them down in there a little bit further. That's the importance of getting it kind of moved up before you start all of it. But this is going to be the most time consuming of all because you're going to have to sit here and Help them all get down towards the bottom. You can take a little bit of lube. Don't want to put too much because you put too much, then you're going to have them sliding around in the bags. I've had that happen before too, where you go to all this trouble and then you wind up having them slide and slip around in the package. And then by the time they get in the mail and get to somebody, you're screwed. But it can be done just like so. Pardon the laminates. These are reject baits. This is just solely for showing you what you can do. You can make it happen with the cardboard, but I don't suggest it. There you go. There's three different ways to do it. We did it once with the plastic cutting board from Walmart. Did it once with the cardboard from out here in the yard. We also did it with aluminum plate from the Home Depot. I hope this blesses you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.